Hello and welcome back to our channel. Today, we're delving into an incredibly important topic for new parents, safe sleeping practices for newborns. Creating a safe sleep environment is paramount to ensuring your baby gets the rest they need while reducing the risk of sudden infant death syndrome, SIDS, and other sleep-related incidents. Let's dive into some key practices that will help you provide the safest sleeping environment for your precious little one. 1. Back to Sleep The American Academy of Pediatrics AP, recommends placing babies on their backs to sleep for both daytime naps and nighttime sleep. This position reduces the risk of sudden infant death syndrome SIDS, and allows for clear airways decreasing the likelihood of suffocation. 2. Use a firm mattress. Opt for a firm and flat mattress in your baby's crib or bassinet. A firm surface reduces the risk of suffocation and ensures that your baby's face remains unobstructed during sleep. Avoid using soft mattresses, pillows, or cushions, as they pose a suffocation hazard. 3. Keep the crib bare, remove all soft bedding, pillows, blankets, stuffed animals, and toys from your baby's sleep area. These items can increase the risk of suffocation, entrapment, or strangulation. A bare crib reduces the risk of accidental suffocation and allows for optimal airflow around your baby. 4. Avoid overheating. Dress your baby in lightweight clothing appropriate for the room temperature. Overheating increases the risk of sudden infant death syndrome, so it's essential to keep the room comfortably cool. Consider using a sleep sack or wearable blanket as an alternative to loose blankets, which can cover your baby's face and interfere with breathing. 5. Room Sharing, Not Bed Sharing the American Academy of Pediatrics AAP, recommends room sharing with your baby for at least the first six months of life, ideally for the first year. Place your baby's crib, bassinet, or portable crib in your bedroom, near your bed, to facilitate easy nighttime feedings and closeness while reducing the risk of bed sharing related accidents. However, it's crucial to avoid bed sharing, as it increases the risk of sudden infant death syndrome and accidental suffocation. 6. Avoid smoking, alcohol, and drug use. Smoking during pregnancy and exposure to secondhand smoke after birth increase the risk of sudden infant death syndrome. Additionally, maternal alcohol consumption and drug use are associated with an increased risk of sudden infant death syndrome. It's essential to create a smoke-free environment for your baby and abstain from alcohol and drug use during pregnancy and after birth to reduce the risk of sudden infant death syndrome. 7. Supervised Tummy Time While back sleeping is recommended for sleep, supervised tummy time while awake is crucial for your baby's development. Tummy time helps strengthen your baby's neck, shoulder, and arm muscles promotes motor skills development, and reduces the risk of flat spots on the back of the head. By following these safe sleeping practices, you can create a secure sleep environment for your newborn, reducing the risk of sudden infant death syndrome and ensuring optimal safety during sleep. Remember, creating a safe sleep environment is one of the most important steps you can take as a parent to protect your baby's health and well-being. That's all for today's discussion on safe sleeping practices for newborns. We hope you found this information helpful and informative. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more parenting tips and advice. If you have any questions or topics you'd like us to cover in future videos, feel free to leave them in the comments below. Thank you for watching, and until next time, Take care and happy parenting.